Guys, this is an amazing news. Google will launch HTTPS first approach with URLs from Chrome 90. Let's discuss what that means and how it can Im impact security in the future. Let's read this blurb and then discuss. After advocating for years for the HTTPS adoption, Google has now taken another step in future Chrome releases Google will launch the HTTPS first approach by default. This will compel the websites to adopt HTTPS by redirecting HTTP traffic. All right guys, so there is, there is a lot going on here, but if you go to our website today, what really happened, what does that mean to the browser, right? The browser want to effectively establish a TCP connection between itself and the server after acquiring the IP address of the domain you want to go to. So first it asks google.com, what's the IP address of that? That's a DNS query. You give back an IP address. But you need to connect to a port, right? Because that's how sockets work. How do you know what port to connect to? Well, there are two ports. The Port 80, which is dedicated for HTTP and secure traffic, and port 443, which is dedicated for secure traffic, which is HTTPS, which you have to do TLS and encryption on top of that, right? If you don't specify the scheme, this is called a schemeless URLs in Chrome or any other browser, then how does the, the browser know what, what, what port to connect to? It doesn't know. So it guesses. And the first guess, for the longest time, since the early 90s was to connect to port 80, to assume that the connection is unencrypted because we don't know that the server at the back end actually supports HTTPS because that was long, a long time ago, right? We didn't know. So we always connect to the HTTP, right? So we connect to port 80 and then only to turn around and then the server will reply back and says, hey, I know, we, we just connected to port 80, but eh, you know what, this is not good. Let's redirect and connect me to uh, connect to me instead to HTTPS, blah, 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 blah. And I showed this many times in my channel. We always, this redirection kills the performance. The, 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 the time to get some content just increases because of this stupid redirection. So Google is the worst when it comes to this. We need to go to, to google.com. It used to do first connect to port 80, and then it tells you, oh, redirect to www.google.com, also on port 80. And then you closes the connection, the browser closes the connection and turns around and connect to www. Uh, google.com on port 80 only for the server again to tell us oh that's wrong go to https www.google.com so this redirection links is just kills the performance so what and obviously it's not secure right we don't like this stuff we like security so and uh, there's another point that i talked about as well in this channel some sites are smart enough to tell the browser, by the way, I know you connected to me on port 80 and this is insecure, but please, for future request, please know me, please add me to your trusted list so that you always communicate to me in HTTPS. And this is called the HSTS list, uh, uh, HTTP strict transport security. I talked about it right here if you want to learn more about it, <laughs> which, which, which this, the Chrome change that we're talking about actually kind of rendered, rendered, rendering it useless, in my opinion, <laughs> if you think about it. So the change that Chrome did, so that's, that's what happened today. The Chrome change in Chrome 90 changes that behavior. So if you go to google.com and hit enter, the browser, whether it's in the HSTS list or not, is going to always connect to port 443 by default if you do not specify the scheme. If you do not tell me that, hey, I want HTTPS or hey, I want HTTP, google.com, right? If you don't specify that, right, and you just specify this just like a com incomplete URL, they call it. Incomplete URL is just a weird name. I don't know. It's schemeless. I love the name schemeless, which is what Google calls it, right? The schemeless URLs like this one, which you don't tell me which protocol it is. Hey, I'm going to assume it's always HTTP. Yes, that's the change. So what does that mean? That means your server, if it supports HTTPS, that's a win. 
That's a performance gain. You don't need to do the stupid redirects anymore. Your Google Chrome users will see a boost in performance because the browser doesn't have to connect to stupid port 80 only to know that this is a redirect, close the connection and establish another one to port 443. That's useless, right? That's just like more work. So that's what will happen. Chrome will always connect to port 443 and then that's it. So now this question is, what if your server doesn't support HTTPS, which is 20% of the web as, as far as we know, doesn't support HTTPS. The 82% or more is all secure in HTTPS and has certificates, right? So we're secure. So the sites that are gonna run into that, what does a Chrome do? Chrome will downgrade the connection, so it will flip it essentially, which is better, right? We were we were essentially doing 80% of the time, we were connecting to the unsecure site only to go back to the secure, which is now most of our sites are secure. Why are we doing this extra hop for in uh, for 80% of the web? That's just dumb, right? So in time to flip it to connect to HTTPS and on those cases where a site doesn't support HTTPS, go back to HTTP. So obviously, What's the, what's the deal with HSTS now? I don't know. HSTS looks like it's dead. We don't need that anymore. If all browsers obviously supports it. I might take that back because curl, the utility built by um, Daniel Stumberg, recently implemented, uh, implemented HSTS. So what, what will that do in this case? All right, well, it's good, but... Uh, if curl supported also forcing HTTPS by default, which is, I don't think it can, because it's not an end user kind of, uh, like you, you, curl users are, are kind of adept, you know, they are expert, usually. So they know what they're doing. So forcing HTTPS seems like a hard thing, but again, we gotta see what the team, what Daniel and the rest think about that. And uh, the final thing is like, what happened to this puppy now? Is this thing dead? I don't think so. I don't think so. HTTPS everywhere is still valid because remember what Chrome does, if the HTTPS first approach fails, Chrome will downgrade you to HTTP by default. So it's flipping. HTTPS everywhere gives you more knobs to play with. It goes back and fail all together. It says, hey, I could not connect in HTTPS. I'm not gonna let you in that site, you don't have that fine knob to control in Chrome. So you might still want to stick to HTTPS everywhere if you want complete HTTPS security. Chrome, although they can just throw in that knob and kill this extension easily if they want to, but they, I don't think they want to do that, right? It's just like, uh, uh, again, we didn't show the, that actual option, guys, did we? This is the option. This is what it's going to uh, look like. What is it? I, I swear to God, I saw that option. Sheesh. Oh, there you go. Emily Stark from Google Chrome team actually explained that. Omnibox HTTPS as the default protocol for navigation. Use HTTPS as the default protocol when the user types a URL without a protocol in the Omnibox, such as example.com. Presently, such an entry navigates to HTTP presently. I mean, currently. Can you say presently? That sounds odd. Presently? Okay, I, know, I don't know English. Such an entry navigates to HTTP example.com. When this feature is enabled, it will navigate to HTTPS to example.com. If the HTTPS URL is available, if, they, if, if the HTTPS is available. If Chrome can determine the availability of HTTPS URL within the timeout, it will fall back to HTTP URL. So there will be a, some sort of a timeout, right? So like, how long should I wait? Maybe, maybe the, the server is just taking time to initiate the TLS handshake. And that will be prodiment, prod, that will be prodiment, pro, pro, ah, fuck, I forgot the word. Prodiment, you guys know what I mean. That will be very clear in TLS 1.2 because that's that extra, that's just like two rounds of, and if your server is way, far from you, then the latency can increase. And you don't really know if the server is just taking its sweet ass time to reply to my TLS 
handshake or is it just uh, is it just not there at all so there is a timeout and as a user i'd like to configure that timeout chrome will you allow me to configure that timeout huh so they didn't specify a timeout but yeah all right guys that is it for me today i'm gonna see you in the next one what do you think about this change are you excited about it so this is kind of a calling to all webmasters and people who host servers if you have http servers time to switch them to https doesn't mean <laughs> the, the the sad thing is if, if you have http unencrypted hosting servers that your users will experience slow performance as a result because chrome now will connect to https which doesn't exist on your website so it will downgrade to http and we have no idea how long that take we have no idea as far from the articles i read that chrome remember that option or not is chrome remembering this option does chrome say hey i connected this before but it failed should i try again or should always go through http we have no idea so about time just to move uh, all everything https it's, it's just so easy these days just get a three month uh, certificate from Let's Encrypt and um, get up and running. Should be so simple. All right, guys, that's it for me today. I'm going to see you on the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.